What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today considering we got ourselves a banger of a video. Yes, once again, another great video coming at you guys. We got ourselves a Blaziken, Speed Boost Blaziken I should say, and a Sturdy Aggron team. This is looking awesome. Two Pokemon that I haven't shown off yet that we're going to be grinding with today. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it does go a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. Everybody who likes up the videos, everybody who just tunes in and watches it, and all my subscribers i really do appreciate the support but this team right here was sent in by my boy jan jan thank you so much for dropping another team for me this one is looking fun this one's looking fun and i cannot wait to show it off but rocking out in that front spot top left corner we got Amolga, a pokemon i haven't shown off yet there's actually three pokemon on this team i haven't shown off yet and Amolga is going to be lucky number one with motor drive ability the wiki berry volt switch nuzzle air slash and taunt i kind of like this pokemon because i always like a nice little nuzzle pokemon i can just paralyze pest all around and control the battle with that over on the right side top right corner we got gastron storm drain gastron over here with that assault vest and then normal move set of scald earth power clear smog and ice beam and i really do love the move of clear smog considering we can just change stat changes and roll from there behind my face cam we got the heart and soul of the team we got speed boost and life or blaziken over here i haven't shown off blaziken he is the last starter of the hoenn generation that i haven't used yet so this one's gonna be fun it's fire and fighting typing with flare blitz close combat rock slide for coverage move and protect over on the right side we got another hoenn pokemon an absolute beast we got aggron with the sturdy ability and psychic seeds to pair well with the psychic surge and dd might blow up but this thing's rock and steel with iron head stone edge dragon claw for coverage and protect as its final move right below it like i said we got male and dd over here with the psychic surge and focus sash we can imprison trick room with it we can ally switch or we can just drop a big old expanding force for some big damage then in the final spot we need an ultra beast so we got cartana with that expert belt and that beast boost ability with leaf blade smart strike both for stab sacred sword for coverage and then protect as its final move guys you want to try out this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen and if you do end up using a team or any teams that i use on videos let me know in the comment section down below how you do with them but without further ado let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this speed boost blaziken team First battle coming at you guys, this guy has Rotom Wash, Landorus with that Intimidate ability, Celestial, Dragapult, Sableye, and Jelly Boy over here. I forget his name again. I forget his name all the time, but it's the Jellyfish Ultra Beast. We know it's Rock and Poison typing. That's really all we need to know. But um, who should I lead? I, he might lead Intimidate Pokemon. I kind of want to lead Amolga. I got to watch out for that Landorus. I cannot hit it with any... uh any electric move so we're just gonna go in with a moga as a lead i kind of want to go blaziken but at the same time i don't want to but then i do because if he leads landers and that's a free intimidate job and that's a that's pretty rough on our end but i still think i'm gonna lead blaziken i can always swap out and go into agron and i really do want agron and i think in the final spot we're gonna go in dd so we can have that psychic search yes rotom wash and electric pokemon but i'm trying to think i don't think we really need storm drain gastron i really don't think we need it too too much I think we should be thriving with the, these four Pokemon right here. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. But something I really do enjoy by using your guys' viewer teams is it's always something different. It's not something that's like straight meta. Cause because when I use like a team that is like straight meta with just like Dragapults and all that, the Dust Cops and normal combos like the Glacier, the Lapras and all that, it kind of gets old. So using viewer teams is so much fun because it's off meta. It, it's something different and it's actually like a bigger challenge for us to win. So when we win, I feel more accomplished. You guys know what I'm saying. But this guy leads. Okay. Blaziken was actually a very good lead. He's going to probably swap Celesteel out, in my opinion. He's going to swap it out to the Landorus. I think that's going to happen, but he's going to go Sableye for the fake out. He's going to go Sableye for the fake out. Kind of see that coming. I might just protect Blaziken here and nuzzle up and just start pestering around. I really don't want to proc weakness policy, and I feel like that might proc a weakness policy. So I think I just taunt Sableye, and I protect Blaziken this turn. I think that's the play. I think that is the play. Because he might swap into the landers, I think, on the left left side. Yeah, with Celestial. Yeah, he's going to swap into the landers. We're going to protect here. Here comes the landers for the Intimidate drop. Yep. Yo, dude, I'm too smart. I'm too smart. I am too smart. So he swaps out into the landers, like I said. Intimidate's going to come out here for my Blaziken. Blaziken's going to go down minus one. But we are going to get a speed boost at the end of this turn. And I don't think he is... Uh, I think the fake out is going to come across in my Blaziken slot. Let's see. Let's see what happens. He's going to go for a trick. Yo, you crazy. And I block it. And I block. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. And we're going to taunt this thing so it cannot use trick. So big play by us. Big turn by us. Sableye is pretty much pester. He's trying to trick up on me. And Blaziken is going to get the speed boost, which is which is really nice. Which is really nice. There's Landorus. Landorus is kind of scary. Not even going to lie. Uh, I think I just Volt Switch out. Do I Nuzzle? Do I Volt Switch out? I kind of just want to Nuzzle up on this thing. And I kind of want to uh, actually... Hmm. I don't want to drop a rock side, but at the same time, I might just swap out here. He has uh, Landers. He's going to drop like a rock or an EQ, which is kind of scary. We go into Indeedee. 
Hmm, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I actually kind of just want to go here. This is actually what I want to do. I want to Volt Switch out. I'm going to Volt Switch you, and then I think I just drop a nice little uh, Flare Blitz over onto the Slander slot. I think that's the play. Let's see what he does. He might swap out. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to swap you out. I'm going to Volt Switch on the Celesteal, I think. Is the Celesteal coming back out? Yeah, so we might proc policy here, which would be scary if we do proc policy. EQ's gonna come out here. Doesn't affect the Molga, it doesn't affect Celesteal, and it's gonna do some nice damage over on my Blaze can slot. Hopefully he can eat. He does not eat, yo, dude. That's whack. That is whack. I seriously thought he was gonna be able to eat that up. I should just swap Blaze can right then and there. It's like I thought about, it, but then I kinda just like second guess myself. The Volt Switch comes here. Show me no weakness policy. I don't think it's weakness policy, which is pretty nice. We swap a Molga and I'm Agron's gonna have to be our Dynamax Pokemon. I think I think we uh, just get Agron out here. And uh Indeedee. Pop the Psychic Seeds and roll from there. Cause he will swap. I he, he will definitely swap out the landers. He will definitely swap out the landers. Let's go Indeedee here. So we get Psychic Seeds rolling. Our defense is going to boost again. And this one is going to actually I feel like it's this battle's gonna be really, really close. I feel like it's gonna be very, very close. We get the surge. I can just start popping expanding forces. I think that's the play. Pop an expanding force, roll from there. And uh, Dynamax Aggron here. Man, dude, I wanted Blaziken so bad. I should have swapped them. I should have swapped Blaziken. That should have been the play. Swap Blaziken into Indeedee and then uh, full switch out into Aggron. I think that should have been the play. Um, but yeah, definitely Dynamax. I think Steel Spike, probably the play. Get the defense boost. He has a lot of physical attackers. Uh, yeah, I think that's the play. And then just Expanding Force. Hmm. Yeah, let's just Expanding Force here. Where do I, where do I trick him? Let's see the speeds. Let's see the speeds. Let's see Agron's speed. As much as I really want to expand force, his speeds are very, very slow. And their Pokemon are kind of... Actually, Celesteal would actually thrive. Though I'm not going to end up tricking him. I'm not going to end up tricking him. I'm just going to go expanding force into Lander slot. Or it's going to double up because of the Psychic Surge. Let's see what happens here. Here goes my Dynamax. Big boy Agron getting some showcase. But dude, I should have swapped the Blaziken. I always second guess myself. Those, those little plays will lose me the match. Like, if I lose this match, it's because of that little play. It's me overthinking myself. But I've been reading very, very well. I'm like, okay, he's going to swap in the landers. He's going to, like, do this. So I'm going to protect my Blaziken. So we had a pretty strong first turn. It was just afterwards I second guess myself. Should have known that he was just going to drop an EQ and just roll out from there. EQ comes out here. Doesn't affect you. He's going to double up into me. Do some damage over on my Aggron slot. A lot of damage into my ND. Did you get a crit on my ND? You did not. You did not. Expanded Force coming out here. We gotta get that Landers out the way. Hands down, gotta get it out the way. I think Landers will go down here, and we will get a defense boost as well. But you go first. Yo, that's nuts. That is nuts. You do go first. Okay. He's gonna get some HP. I mean, I'm fine by this. Landers goes down. We get a defense boost. And no more Intimidates. And here comes the Beast boost, which is actually very, very scary. Beast boost is popping. And it's weird that you do outspeed my, uh... It's weird you do outspeed my, what's it called? My Aggron. I thought Aggron would be a little bit faster. But no, Aggron is the slowest. So we could have went into a Trick Room, but... Nah, I kind of like the Expanded Force play. And how much HP does that Celesteal have? Because a Molga should be able to come out here and hopefully just hit a Bolt Switch and take that thing out, and then we can roll from there. Because I know you have Sableye. You might roll into now, I think. Yep, Sableye probably going to fake out. Um, Or he might swap items and give me an item. And I wonder what item he is. I know we should definitely go for a uh, another Steel Spike. Hopefully his final Pokemon is a. Uh, hopefully his final Pokemon is a what's it called? Is a physical attacker. Let's see what happens here. He's gonna Dynamax. Oh, he's man, dude. He's Dynamax and Celesteela. Dang, dang. I thought we were gonna be able to just take this thing out with a Bolt Switch. Hopefully we still can. I don't think we are going to. But if we get like a crit, we can take this thing out. This thing's gonna double up its HP. Still should be able to eat up a uh, bolt switch now. See what happens here. Here comes the. the oh, he's gonna quash me. He's gonna quash me, man. So, go ahead, Celestial. Eat this up. Or not Celestial. Are you gonna steal spike on my Aggron? That takes me out? Oh, because we're part rock, man. We're part rock. That's game. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, dude. Steel type shouldn't it should be not very effective on my Aggon slot. That should be a thing. That should be a thing. But since we're part rock type, it is normally effective. And uh we're gonna end up losing this battle. He's gonna get a beast boost. But let me see if this volt switch actually would have taken him out. Did this let's see this volt. Actually, after the maybe the life orb damage, let's see. Volt switch. Bop, let's take out. It does. It does. It does. We, oh, we get a crit! <laughs> Game's not over yet. 
Game is not over yet. This thing's just gonna quash me. It's just gonna keep rolling out there. Who's this final mon? If I, I could've guarded that turn. I could've guarded and rolled out. Took him out with a bolt switch. Mm. That would've been a play. That would've won us the game. That would've won us the game. And his final mod is going to be Jelly Belly over here. Hello, Mr. Jelly Belly. Rock and poison typing. Um, can I Mogul clutch up? We just gotta go for bolt switch. I'm not too worried about... I think my ally switch or quash. But I'm not worried about Sableye. Unless it's Rock and Power Play. It might not. Let's see. She's gonna quash. I don't think it's Rock and Power Play. She's gonna keep quashing me. And uh, try to get Jelly Belly the victory here. Meteor Beam's coming out here. Uh, do I protect? I do not have protect. Unless this thing's Power Herb, it's not hitting yet. Let's see. It might be Power Herb. I can see it being Power Herb. Let's see. Yep, Power Herb's popping out here. Can you miss? Can you miss? It connects. That's a game. That's a game. This is a big damaging move right here. Meteor Beam coming in here. Super effective, too. That's going to wipe out my Molga. And battle number one is going to go to our opponent. So, yeah. Pretty good battle there. Again, it could have went either way if I would have made the, the better read with my Blaziken or maybe Max Guard with my Aggron. That match is ours to take. This dude's got a deadly combo right here. He's got the Comfy and Galarian Moltres. You guys already know that thing rocks out. Or Comfy and Gudrius, both of them. That's just a deadly combo. We got to watch out for that in battle number two and try to get ourselves our first victory for this video. Um, who should I go into? He also has Clefairy, Blastoids, Urshfu. I think that's a, that's a dark and uh, fighting type one. I think it might be. It might be. I'm not too sure. I am not too sure because I can't really tell the difference. If you guys can tell the difference, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys tell the difference because I would really like to know that. But I think he is going to lead either Comfy, Gudra, or Comfy and Moltres and probably proc weakness policy and roll from there. So I think Blaziken, Dynamaxing could be a strong first turn. And then, hmm, he also has Blastoid. So I, I'm going to bring Storm Drain, Gastron. And in case that thing is water, we definitely got to bring it. I think we got Omolga. Maybe we can pester off and, uh, put out some nuzzles and just control. And then the final Pokemon, do I go Aggron? Or Cartana. Ooh, Aggron or Cartana's not bad. But that thing might be Sap Sipper over there. It might be Sap Sipper. This thing is part steel. I think I'm going to go Cartana here. Because Aggron really thrives with the Psychic Seeds. And I only got one slot left. So, you know, I'd rather uh, just pop out here with Cartana. This thing's an absolute beast as well with the Expert Belt. Has to steel type in to do some work on the Comfy. Maybe I should I should have led Cartana. I should have. No, I, I like the Blaze. I like the whole uh, Blaziken and uh, Amolga lead. I really do like that. Because I can protect, get a speed boost, outspeed everything. But Blaziken should be pretty fast regardless. Let's see who goes into Comfy and who? Or Clefairy and Blasted. Okay. Um. I think I just protect this turn. This thing might, sh he might Shell Smash. He might Shell Smash. And that, that, that's a problem. Hmm. He might Shell Smash. And I don't really like if it is going to Shell Smash. Hmm. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I think I go for the Rock Slide. Maybe potentially try to get that flinch and just taunt you. Because I think it's going to go follow me into Shell Smash and then Dynamax. Right? That's the play? Yeah. He's going to follow me. Hopefully we get this flinch and we can just taunt this thing so I can't really do much. Let's see what happens here. Amogu goes for taunt. That's beautiful. Um, we need the flinch here. That flinch would be huge. It'd be huge. We'd be rolling out after this. Come on. Give me the flinch on the blast. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. Give me the flinch. Give it to me. Come on. Come on. I'm the best. I'm the best. Give it to me. Let's go. Oh! Mmm! Mmm! All right, Blastoise getting swapped. We're swapping into uh, Gastron here. Um, and then we're gonna nuzzle that thing. That's a hundred percent the play, dude. I need that flinch, man. I made the right calls too. I made the right calls. Speed boost is popping for Blaziken, but I have to swap him out. I have to swap him out. I'm not making that mistake again. So we're gonna swap you into Gastron. Hopefully he goes for a water move and we can storm drain this one and just get off a nuzzle. Yeah, I really do want a nuzzle here. We'll nuzzle past it around here. He, I, he's probably gonna die next. Like, I'm reading very well there. I'm doing some good reads. I'm doing some good reads. This team is gonna be tough to get some wins up against. Or with. Considering it's, like, not meta. It's kind of hard to... Like, if you're playing up against, like, meta Pokemon, they're obviously, like, ten times stronger. Like, that's just how it goes. That's why everybody's using them, because they are the better Pokemon. But we're gonna swap Blazy. We're gonna get out Gastro. Gastro, let's get after it. Uh, I, don't, I wonder what Clefairy's doing. Is Clefairy swapping? Or does it have an attack and move? Or is it gonna struggle? Like, what is Clefairy gonna do after it's taunted? Here comes the Max. Hopefully he's going for a, a, like a water move. Like a Storm Drain Eat. Let's see if Jeans is making the right call. Let's see if Jeans is making the right call. Let's get it. Go, baby. I do have Clear Smog. I'm going to Clear Smog next turn. Go for a water move, baby. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go, yo. Dude, the reads are on. Give me that Storm Drain boost. Do I Dynamax or do I? I think I just stick to a Clear Smog here. Nuzzle up. 
Bob. I'm clear smogging this blast dude. Get rid of all of this little stat changes. All right, let's get out of my face, dude. And Clefairy is going to end up going for a Meteor Mash. Hold up. Don't chill on me. Don't chill on me dropping Meteor Mashes like that. Okay. Um, we're going to clear smog now. Is this... I think it only clears the Pokemon that you hit. So I'm going to do that. Then I think I Volt Switch out now. Who else do I have? Cartana. Oh, yeah, yo. We Volt Switch here. Oh, yes, sir. We definitely Volt Switch here. Volt Switch coming out here. We're going to get Cartana out here. I wonder what movie he's going to go for. I really do wonder what movie he's gonna go for. Not gonna go for a steel move. Uh, let's get Cartana out here. If Cartana eats this turn, we can take out Blastoise next turn, no problem. And then get a Beast Bruce and roll out. Mmm. Mmm. Come on, yo. Don't ruin my game. I'm having a great game right now. Max Duckle coming out here. Over onto Mulk, I think. Or go Gash him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't think I Dynamax. I really don't think I Dynamax here. In my guard, I'm gonna go Gash on. I'm gonna throw uh, something over on that side. Uh, clear smogs takes away all your uh, stat changes. Beautiful meteor mash coming out here. Gash on a voice, yo. Lovely, 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 lovely. Um, the scald over onto the Clefairy slot, and then go for a nice little leaf blade over onto this uh, blast switch. Because leaf blade's connecting, it's over. Like we're gonna win this game. Let's go. Let's go. Give me the sleep blade. Give me the sleep blade. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, blast switch. Yo, dude, we are so good. I am so good at this game. This might be one of the best battles I ever had. I'm reading left and right. I'm playing really, really well today. My reads are on. We get the Beast Bruce. I think I Dynamax Cortana after this, and we uh, finish out this game. It really depends who he throws out. Skull's going to come out here. I'm really not too worried about that uh, Clefairy, because, again, I can just go into, like, a steel move and take that thing out. He's going to go for a Meteor Mash over onto Gashadon. Oh, over onto Cortana. You're you crazy, man. You're crazy. He's going to shake off Taunt. Who are you coming out with? What Pokemon you are? Uh... If he comes out with a Fire Pokemon, then, then, we're, then we're sitting a little... And then it's a little scary. Let's see. We do have Gashon boosted plus one. Urshfu is coming out here. I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. I got a Dynamax here, right? Got a Dynamax. Hmm. Okay, this is the dark one. We're going to go for the burn. I am going to Dynamax. And I think I just Steel Spike over onto the Urshfu slot. If the follow me comes through, then we just roll from there. But yeah, I got a Dynamax. And we still have Blazekin in the back, which is huge. Which is huge. He's going to be able to outspeed any Pokemon. I believe so. He's really, really fast. Especially if I can just protect. And, uh... Because I can protect and just get the speed boost to go plus one. So, our speed is not really doing anything for us. Like, it's going to be great. It's all on our side. But the only Pokemon i got to worry about with protect is going to be Urshfu. I've been remembering that more and more. But what's Urshfu going to go for? Obviously, follow me. This is why I Steel Spike. Because if it follows me, it's just going to take out the Club Fairy. So I'm fine with it. Here comes Steel Spike. We're going to get plus one defense boost. Which is going to help against a uh, physical attack from Urshifu. And then we are going to get the Beast Boost to give us the attack boost. So we are, dude, we are playing so well. We are playing really, really well, dude. The reads are on. Like, we are on this game. Beast Boost coming out here. This might be one of the best battles I've ever played. Close combat, obviously. And we're going to be able to eat that one up. That's tasty, baby. That is tasty. There goes your stats. Dropping your defense and special defense. So I think Skull will actually pick up the KO here, too. Because we're plus one. This thing is minus one, I think. Or is it two? Minus mm, This thing's Sash. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Give it to me. We got the burn. <laughs> yeah. Out of my face, yo. Urshu. Out of my face. Get out of my face. You're done. You're done, yo. This, this game's over. Best game I ever played. I, hands down. I cannot think of a better game I, I played. Like, if I can play like this more consistently, I could be, like, high on the Master Ball tier. I can be really, really high. But, yeah, we are, do we dominate this game. We absolutely dominate it. Play it so perfectly. I think I made every single call perfect. Like, every single call was a good call. Yo, GG, that guy. We're one and one. We can hop into our third and final battle and try to get ourselves a winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. In that last battle, I can't believe I pulled that off. That was a good game. We made reads perfectly and dominated that second battle. But this guy is an adaptability Porygon Z team. You guys already know that thing hits like an absolute truck. He might be or probably is going to lead it. But what's kind of confused me is he has a Tokus and the Fairy, which leads me to think that uh, that Tokus is attacking with uh, the fire move, the air move, protect, or follow me, and uh, what is the last move? The Fairy move. So I think it's going to be an attacking... Uh, Kiss, gotta watch out for that. I think Amolga is a nice lead once again. Gets the fake out with the Rillaboom. Kind of scary. Uh, we, I think we lead Blaze. I think we lead Blaze. Can get rolling here. We do not need Gash on this battle. Uh, I definitely want Cartana. And th then do I want Ndidi? He has a male Ndidi of his own. 
I definitely want Cartana here, I think. With that seal typing to do work up against that Clefairy and that Togekiss. So I'm gonna go Cartana, and then in the final spot, I think I go Agron. I think Agron pretty, pretty nice here. Certainly we have Rock for that Togekiss. And uh, if he wants to set the Psyche Surge himself, that's totally fine. I'd rather have that over in DD because he doesn't have any Trick Room users. And we can just roll out from here and try to pick up this win. Final battle. But yo, look at that dude's trainer card. That's tough. That is tough. I got. Dude, I gotta do my trainer card. I, guys, I know. You guys have always been telling me, like, yo, jeans, get on your trainer card game. Jazz it up a little bit. But that one makes me want to jazz my trainer card up. Well, he's looking really, really good. Here's Porygon Z into Clefairy. Uh, pretty, pretty uh, normal lead here. Um, do I Dynamax Blaze? I kind of want a Dynamax Blaze here. The Blaze can, obviously, is going to be faster. I can taunt in this turn. I, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to taunt you this turn. Am I helping hand? I might protect, or do I, uh... I'm gonna Dynamax into a Knuckle and just start getting an attack boost. Now he, he's gonna follow me, so. Do I guard? Or do I protect? I think I just protect this turn. I think it's a smart play just to protect here. He's gonna Dynamax Porygon. Yeah. Alright, so here comes Dynamax from Porygon. Amogla should be able to get off this taunt. I'm gonna protect you. Neglect some of the damage. It's still gonna be big damage. And then I should be able to outspeed next turn. No problem, start throwing shots. Possibly nuzzle up on Porygon. I probably should attack this turn. But that's the best part about protecting with Blaziken. It's a free speed boost. It's a free speed boost. That's the best part about it. But here comes Protect, and obviously the following moves come out here. That's why I protected. I didn't want to just waste an attack move and uh, get hit by this Porygon. That thing hits like an absolute truck. We're going to taunt this thing up. I actually might swap. Swap, but I won't switch out. He's going to go for the max strike. Over onto whom? Over on the blaze. Find us all that coming. And uh, that, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, man. That is a lot of damage. Speed's gonna drop, but it's just gonna go back to normal. That's a lot of damage, man. I think it's scary. Maybe not even Dynamax Blaze can. I don't even think that's the play. Um, what's Blaze can speed at? Are we gonna outspeed this Porygon? I just want to make sure. Unless I should throw a nuzzle. I should throw a nuzzle just in case. This is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna nuzzle you. Porygon's spazzing again. And then I'm just drop a close combat stab. Get off some damage before Blaze can actually just go out. That's the play. He's probably gonna swap Clefairy or just go for like a dinky little hitting move. So I'm not worried about that thing at all. Might be rolling Meteor Mash like the last one. But close combat should be able to do a decent amount of damage considering he's stab. And what? Oh no, Amolga's slower now. Amolga is slower now. Amolga doesn't eat, but yo, I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. And Blaze can also beat his Clefairy. I'm cool with him taking out my Amolga. I totally forgot there was a speed drop on that thing. I just need Blaze to get off this close combat. There we go. Big damage coming out here. Get it out of my face. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love you. I love you, Blaze That is huge. That is huge. Now we have Kartana and Agron in the back. I'm kind of like it. So Blaze it will just absolutely dump on that thing. But Fairy's probably going to go for a hitting move here. And we're going to go back to normal speed. And can I eat this up? Oh, it's a Moon Blast. Never mind. Six Rocket Moon Blast. It's going to take me out. That is going to take me out. Moon Blast out my face. Do that. Okay, so I like where we're sitting here. I really do like where we're sitting here. Considering it's a 3v2, but we have our Dynamax. We still have our Dynamax. He uses early on with the Porygon. And he has Clefairy, who is taunted. And we know it's going to go into a Moon Blast. And we have two Steel Pokemon. So I'm liking this. I am liking this, yeah. So depending on who he drops out is going to be my Dynamax. I think I'm going to Dynamax Cartana here. I think that's a, I think that's the big play. I think that's the play because I can get a Beast Boost and kind of roll from there. But again, it really depends on who he throws out. He's going to throw out Togekiss. It's good for us. This is good for us. He's probably sitting there like, dang, yo. Two Steel Typings against two Fairies. I'm not liking this at all. Cartana's getting a Dynamax. Right? Cartana has better attack. Let me see. Let me just, let me just get a peek at this. Yeah, Cartana 233. Get out here, Cartana. But look at this thing's look at this thing's defense. 151's not bad, but 200 on the Agron? Ooh! Ooh, baby! Alright, let's get after it. So definitely not a Max Cartana. We got that uh Deal Spike. And uh we gotta go after his Tokus. Tokus is just posing such a bigger threat. And then Iron Heads all around. Do I double up in the Tokus slot? I feel, I feel like if it doesn't protect, like, we should just be able to take it out, no problem. We got, we got the stab, this thing hits like a truck, and we got the expert belt. 
So it's like, come on, extra bell, if you guys don't know what it does, every super effective move I use or connects, it does a little bit more damage. It gets a little uh, multiplier and super effect shots. But Karkana, this thing is amazing. I love this Pokemon a lot, but it, it's like Durant. It's so good, but any fire type, we're done. I think it's gonna go for a heat wave. Bro, didn't I just say any fire type, we're done? And now we're gonna lose this battle? This thing heat wave me? For the win? I'm sad. I'm very, very sad. I'm very, very sad. <laughs> I am so sad, dude. <laughs> I am so sad. That's game. That is game. No. Bruh. Togekiss really outspeeds my Cartana. What's Cartana's speed? That's game, man. We're going to end up losing this one. That thing's got to be choice. It's got to be choice. 177? That's gotta be choice. We need to sing the mess. We need to sing the mess. We need to kiss the mess. That thing's choice card. Hands down. Miss me. We got a KO. We got a KO. Whoa, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Iron Head coming out here. KO this thing. Let's just not KO it. Man, yeah, that's game. That's game. Shook off the taunt. Bomb me's gonna come out here. I protect? <laughs> Dude, that's game. No! This thing was choice scarfed and made us lose this game. He was a choice scarf. I think he's done in one one steel spike. One steel spike's taking that thing out, hands down. He wave coming out here. That one's gonna connect, and that is gonna be the game, bro. So mad. I'm so mad. I am so mad. I thought I had that one in the bag, and I was just talking about. It. I was like, the only downside is this thing gets hit by a fire move. It's dead. Heat wave. Blah. We lose the match. <laughs> One and two with this team, and I really did enjoy it. It's tons of fun. Definitely off meta, and uh, pretty fun to try to get some victories with our first battle. We probably could have won it if we made uh, maybe one or two different plays, but that one ended up going close. We ended up losing it. The second battle, we played perfectly. Like, dude, I can't believe how good we played that battle. Ended up getting the win there. And then the final battle, we legit just lost to a Choice Scarf. I thought we did everything right besides... Uh, the Choice Scarf out to be nice taking out my Cortana for the win. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.